Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick whistle stop tour of one of the new flight controller and ESC stacks that's just been released from SpeedyB today. This is the new SpeedyB F405 V4 flight stack and it has a number of significant improvements over the previous SpeedyB F405 V3 flight control stack that I've looked at on the channel before. I'm guessing at the moment SpeedyB engineers aren't getting much sleep because not only are they putting out some really nice stacks like this at pretty decent prices and we'll get onto that in a moment, they've also been kicking out lots of nice frames too and I'm definitely going to be using this particular stack in a frame to build a quadcopter for beginner series probably over late autumn early winter. Now this latest V4 F405 stack does have a number of improvements over the V3 and we'll go through what those are. Again, it's wirelessly configurable, surprise surprise, with the application, but it does mean that you can do all the standard stuff with a SpeedyB flight controller at the field where you can just connect to it with the app on your phone and tweak things if you need to. The gyro on the flight controller has changed. On the V3, it was a BMI 270, which is something you saw a lot. On the new one, this is an ICM 42688P. And there's also much improved surge protection for the gyro as well. It was a standard LDL power chip on the V3. On the V4, they've done what they did on the last stack that we looked at from SpeedyB. They've actually done a lot more surge protection. So it actually has some additional capacitors and filtering around the gyro to make sure it reads really clean. They've also changed a few things in terms of the power. So the integrated 5 volt BEC has gone from 2 amps up to 3 amps here and the 9 volt BEC has also increased from 2 to 3 amps as well which is going to be handy for those higher power HD systems if you're going to use the 9 volts for that. Also included in the SpeedyB F405 V4 setup is the ability to support iNav D-Shot which is something that unfortunately the V3 struggled with and why I'm potentially using this one in the build that I'm about to do. Other neat things that's on the flight controller, there is the DJI Air unit that you can plug and play into. I know SpeedyB is part of the Runcam family and Runcam and DJI are buddies at the moment, but please SpeedyB, when you do these things in future, do include cables and things for HD0 and Walk Snail as well. It would make it easier to do builds, but that DJI Air unit plug and play system does mean that there is a place that you can just get your cable in and that will give you all the connections out for whichever HD system you just maybe have to play around with a cable for UART in here as well so loads of room to add extra pieces on if you really want to I always like an extra UART or two and it does have a built-in barometer and reading the blurb it does appear that they've also fixed the SD card compatibility issues that occasionally was cropping up on the v3 the previous version Four LED strip soldering pads are on here as well and it does support up to eight motors Last thing to mention about the flight controller, it does include the onboard four level battery indicator, which was also on the last stack that I looked at from SpeedyB. So what's changed on the 4-in-1 ESC? Well, the big news is that the rating has gone up by 5 amps, so it's now 55 amps versus 50 amps. The other big change is the burst current has changed. So the burst current now goes up to 70 amps versus 55 amps in the previous version. Still supports 3 to 6 S LiPo like the previous version did, but the big change you can see here is the fact that they've added this metal heatsink. That's going to help keep the unit cooler when you are using it in demanding applications. But crucially, they've thought a bit about this, which is the kind of stuff I like about SpeedyB. They've also chosen MOSFETs that have a lower internal resistance. And that resistance, with the current that flows through it, unfortunately dissipates a lot of heat. And having a lower internal resistance means that it doesn't get as warm in the first place. And that, coupled with the metal heatsink, should mean that it's going to handle the heat better. There is a penalty that we're paying for all of this extra beefiness. It does come in at quite a heavy 23.5 grams versus the 13.8 grams of the previous unit. But 4.3 grams of that is the heatsink itself. Is there anything to be aware of with this new stack? Well, no, not really. Everything looks really nicely made and the specs and settings are exactly what you would expect. So if you've been maybe looking at the Speedy BF 404, 
5 v3 and you want D shot for INAV, you want more amperage in your BACs and you want improved surge protection and a different gyro, this is probably the one I would go for now. I'm personally going to put this one to the side because I definitely will be doing a build with this in one of those new frames from SpeedyB as a quadcopter for beginners series. But it should also mean that you could get the previous version, the Speedy BF 405 V3, for a song. And if it has all the specs on there that you want, then that's still a great option. But for me, I'm going to be building this Speedy BF 405 V4 out in a quadcopter build. So stay tuned, that will hopefully be happening in a couple of months. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.